In this video, we are going to talk about frame of reference, position, distance, and displacement. Let's get started with reference frame or frame of reference. Well, in simple words, reference frame is an abstract coordinate system which our measurements are based on. Any measurements of position, distance, speed, velocity, and so on, must be made with respect to a frame of reference. To understand the concept of reference frame, let's consider the example below. Suppose you are on a train traveling at 80 kilometers per hour. And then, on the same train, a person walks past you towards the front of the train at a speed of 5 km per hour. In this case, if we want to calculate the speed of this person with respect to the ground, then the speed of this person will be 85 kilometers per hour. In this example, the ground was taken as a frame of reference in this measurement. Generally, in physics, we draw a set of coordinate axes, as shown here, to represent a frame of reference, x and y. x and y axes are perpendicular to each other, and the origin of this coordinate axis is where x is 0 and y is 0. This coordinate axis we, uh, will allow us to specify the direction as well, not only the magnitude of our measurements, but also the direction. And the directions are shown by positive or negative. So suppose we have an object that moves along x-axis or our object is positioned somewhere on the x-axis, horizontal motion. In this case, if the position of the object is to the right of the origin here, in this area, for example, 1, then this 1 is positive. So any numbers to the right of the origin are positive. And also any vectors heading towards the right are positive. So no matter where the vector is, when the direction is towards the right or due east, that means it's positive. The direction is positive. Similarly, when we have a vertical motion, we set y-axis as a frame of reference. Similarly, above the origin of the axis is positive, and any vectors heading towards up or due north all are positive. So, the below the, the origin of the axis is negative, 
and also for the x-axis the left side to the origin is negative that means any vectors heading towards left will be negative or towards south or down should be negative so negative and positive in this frame of reference will show us the direction of our motion now since we have a frame of reference we can simply define position so position is a vector quantity and this r unit of position is meter so whenever an object is somewhere along x axis that point is called posi position and uh, we can show it by a vector or it's uh, represented by a vector So let's have a look at this example and from there, from position, we can move on to the definition of displacement. So let's have a look at this teacher. This teacher initially is at position x sub naught. Since the motion of this person is along x-axis we represent the position at any moment by x so this person initially is at position x sub naught or x1 or x initial and then she moves to the second position which is which is x f or final position in this case the position has been changed so there is a change in position we call displacement as the change of position so let's define displacement Displacement is the change of position. Displacement is also a vector quantity. No, sorry. Vector quantity. And this R unit for position uh, for displacement or is meter so that means that if an object in our coordinate system moves from x i or initial position moves to somewhere here which is x final we can represent position uh, we can represent displacement graphically by just connecting position i to position f to x r f it means initial position to final position so we can simply draw a vector and this vector represents displacement but how to calculate displacement to calculate displacement we need to know the rules for vector additions because positions are vectors so we need to know how to add vectors let's 
consider this example, the teacher example. Suppose initial position here is 1.5 meters away from the origin of our coordinate system or frame of reference. And then the second position, which is the final position, is 3.5 meters away from the origin. According to the definition of displacement, the change of position, we can write the definition of displacement mathematically. Since it's the change, so we know in mathematics, we show or we uh, represent change by delta. So therefore, we can say delta x, which is displacement, is equal to final position minus initial position. Initial position sometimes uh, is shown by x sub naught or x sub i, or sometimes even x1 and x2 for final. So all mean the same. So in this case, we just substitute the variables with numbers 3.5 meters minus 1.5 meters and the displacement will be 2 meters. But here the important thing is the sign of the displacement. As you see, the sign is positive. That means the direction of the motion was towards the right or due east. As you see, the direction of motion. Now, since we define displacement, we can also define distance because these two terms, these two quantities are very close to each other. So what is distance now? Distance is defined as total path traveled on the ground. So distance by an object, by the object. So distance is a scalar quantity and this i unit of distance also is meter. So position, displacement and distance, they all have the same unit, meter. Let's have a look at this example and then we can distinguish between uh, distance and displacement. Suppose we had um, we have an object here at zero, the origin of our our coordinate system. Then this object moves due east or to the right. 70 meters away from the origin it moves and then this object gets back to the origin towards the origin <clears throat> 30 meters so in this example we want to calculate displacement and distance based on the definition of displacement at the beginning here we have initial position and the place or the position that the object stops finally is our final position. So based on the definition of displacement, 
delta x is equal to x final minus x initial or position final final position minus initial position okay is equal to so 70 meters he went to the right and 30 meters got back so therefore this this point must be 40 meters away from the origin so then uh, position uh, final position will be 40 meters minus what is the initial position initial position is at the origin so zero therefore our displacement will be 40 meters but how about uh, how about distance based on the definition total path traveled on the ground by the object and its a scalar quantity so we just need to simply add up the whole path that the object has traveled so 70 meters here and 30 meters there regardless of any any sign so we can say distance is equal to 70 meters plus 30 meters which is equal to 100 meters let's have a look at another example we want to find out what is the displacement and what is the distance here in this example as you see this person initially started moving at this position which is 30 meters away from the origin of the coordinate system the coordinate axis or our reference frame and uh, this person stops at this position which is 10 meters away from the origin based on the definition of displacement we can simply say displacement is shown or is denoted or is represented by the symbol delta x is equal to x final minus x initial so just follow the formula so what is our <coughs> excuse me final position is 10 meters and <coughs> the initial position is 30 meters away therefore the displacement will be negative 20 meters now as you see the displacement is negative and this negative sign shows the direction of our motion as you see the motion is towards the origin of the coordinate axis or is heading to the left regardless of its own position which is on the right side of the origin but since the direction of motion is towards the left still it will be negative but how about the distance distance is defined as the total path traveled by the object in motion so here distance will be thirty meters and it moved to 20, ten meters then it will be twenty meters and as you see distance can cannot be negative because we don't uh, include the direction it is a scalar quantity it has only magnitude not direction
Let's now look at the, uh, some differences between distance and displacement. Distance is defined as total path traveled on the ground irrespective of its direction. S is missing here. And displacement, on the other hand, is the change of position. Then, distance is a scalar quantity, whereas displacement is a vector quantity. Distance cannot be negative, whereas displacement can be negative, and negative means um, it shows the sign actually shows the direction of the motion distance cannot be zero if a body is in motion during a time interval whereas displacement can be zero while a body is in motion during a time interval so let's have a look at an example to see what does that mean the last row of this table that means if an object is in motion like along x-axis an object moves to the right and then gets back to the origin or it can be like that an object starts from here okay the object moves and gets back to the initial position in this case our displacement will be zero. Why? Because initial position is here and final position is also here. There is no difference between initial position and final position. Therefore, the displacement will be zero. Whereas the distance is not zero in this case. The distance is the measurement of the whole path traveled by the object. This is example number one. Another example, example number two, is when we have a circular motion. So in circular motion, when an object starts from A, moving along this circular path and gets back to A. Here again, initial position and final position are the same. In this case also, delta X will be equal to zero. Whereas distance is not zero distance will be equal to 2 pi r if r is the radius so this is the end of this uh, lesson in the next video we will solve some problems to understand the concept of position distance and displacement better.